Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're in a bit of a different setup. We're sitting in a different corner of my room because I uh, wanted to shake it up a bit. I am filming this weekly wow. Normally I film them on Tuesday mornings and post them Wednesday mornings, but we've got a big storm coming up. I might have to work from home. I, the stuff might come up. So I'm filming this Monday night, and I feel like there was so much that came out during the week that I was away that... Uh, we still have plenty to talk about. So let's dive in. So I talked about this in a weekly wow a while ago. I saw the packaging for this Mac collection and I was captivated. I was gonna say captured, then I said captivated. Capturvated. Can you tell it's nighttime and I had a long day? But not only do I want this Fix Plus, because I, I know I like Fix Plus and I love this bottle, uh, I want this palette, I want the blush, I, I want everything. And I know looking at those colors, I have those colors, but I want that palette. I am 100% brought in by MAC and by the packaging. This is gorgeous. <laughs> and I've had my eyes on it since I first saw it sneak peeked. I don't know when it's actually coming out. March, it's coming out in March. I'm gonna have to set some money aside for that because I want it. Mm. So, okay, so the balm. I always feel like the balm comes out with like the cutest ideas for palettes. And it never really follows through, right? Like these two tea, tea palettes, they're called What's the Tea? The packaging is adorable. The whole theme is just so on point and so great. And the textures even look nice. But the colors are a bit just boring. Meh. Like, could you imagine if we had done like a green tea color, a black tea color, uh, an orange blossom tea color? I want to redesign this palette. I really do. But I just, I love the concept behind this. But look at that picture of all the swatches. They're just like the same colors. Over and over and over. But I love the packaging. The balm is 100% on their packaging. It's adorable. I love it. Will I get either of these? I think if I were, I would get the one where the pans are all shaped like little teacups. Because gosh darn it, if that is not adorable. But looking at the colors themselves, I know I don't need them or probably wouldn't reach for them, or would use them, etc. So Too Faced is coming out with a new press powder. My One of my favorite all-time foundations of all time, all time of all time, is from Too Faced. It is the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I loved that foundation. Panned it. Didn't want to go and rebuy it because I have a sizable foundation collection, but I loved, loved that foundation. I'm currently panning um, their Born This Way foundation and I'm not as big of a fan as that one, but it's still a decent foundation. I do like their um, the Dewy foundation from their 2D Fruity collection. That one's still pretty good too, but because of how much I love the melted, melted, no, because of how much I loved the um, Comfort Matte foundation, I'm curious as to how the rest of their base products are going to perform. I really want to try that loose powder even though it's kind of expensive and I really want to try this pressed powder. I don't know if I'm going to go out and get it like immediately, you know, but I'm curious. So it looks like Lime Crime is coming out with some new matte velveteen colors and there's one that is a pinky coral that I've got my eyes on. It's in the top left hand corner of this picture and I love the way that I look in coral. It just works with my skin tone. I think it looks really cute. I've never tried one of these from Lime Crime before, so I am a bit interested. Have you tried the matte velveteen? Melveteens. Matte velveteen. Melveteen. <laughs> Have you tried one of the matte velveteens before? If so, let me know and if you think they're worth it. So I kind of thought this was a joke. Like... Like, I'm, I'm never gonna, like, actually... Okay, let me... How am I gonna phrase this? I'm not into the gemstones thing. Like, honestly, I have a few favorite ASMR videos where, like, they go through their stone, like, gemstone collections and they talk about it. But I'm not one to, like, buy hundreds of dollars worth of these stones and, like, make a collection and, like, read into them a little too much. And I feel like it cosmetics is going a bit far... <laughs> You're making a brush with a certain gem handle and you're pairing it with a 
gem bracelet, and then you're calling it a therapy duo? Ugh. This just seems really stupid to me. Like, you know what? Do whatever you want. Whatever makes you feel better, whatever helps you meditate, whatever you do. But if you're gonna try to capitalize on it, like it cosmetics here, like... It's not genuine. It's just weird. So I've never heard of this brand. I don't know, I honestly can't remember if I covered this one palette in a before Weekly Wow, but if I did, it must have gone over my head. This is from Kaoir, K-A-O-I-R, and it's a palette shaped like a K. Well, I gotta say, I give them props for being a bit different. Uh, if you take away the packaging and just look at the colors. Hmm. On top of that, you don't even know what the formula is going to be like. And it's $59. Nope. 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 So it kind of tickles me pink that uh, Glam Light Cosmetics, is that what it's called, is still going out with their pizza theme and coming out with lashes. <laughs> I never got their palette. I thought it was really cute, but of course it's like the next fad. Like everyone wants to be the, the thing on Instagram for the next 20 minutes. And then that's it. And then that's it. I actually really wanted that pizza palette, but I would rather, I don't know. I don't want to like put my money towards like just fad things that I know it's going to be cool for the first 20 minutes you have it. And then after that, you're not going to touch it. I'm trying to be more uh, thoughtful about what I get and not just immediately try and get it for a video, you know? Like, I'm trying to be more thoughtful. Okay, so I never actually tried eye lower lashes. I see them do a lot of collabs with like influencers, but I've never tried them out. So I see they're coming out with a couple of different styles, some with Jordan Wood, some with a couple of other influencers. So let me know, have you ever tried any of these lashes before and if you think they're worth the price? Cause I think for like drugstore, they're like a little pricey, like you can get one pair from Ilore for the same as like a box of the Ardells and I love the Ardells whenever I actually wear lashes so I'm on the fence about these. Let me know if you've tried them out. Oh my god I just saw another picture of that MAC collection that I'm dying for and look at it. I want it. I want it. Huh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Girl is gonna need some help with this one. Oh look at this. Look who just happened to have some Jim Beam right here. Whoops. So they're coming out with the Face Tape Foundation. A year after the fact. They're coming out in 50 shades with five undertones. And there's no apology, no nothing. All that they say is you asked and we listened. Did you? Did you? Uh, so I brought this up a while ago and why I haven't bought from Tarte since this began. Um, mainly, not only did they come out with a garbage foundation with a garbage foundation range, they got instantly defensive about their shade range. They attacked their customers that were criticizing them and then it came out with this BS interview about how, well, of course we only have light skin tones for right now because everyone's light this time of the year and then we'll come out with darker shades in the summer when everyone tans. That's some bullshit. No. No, they can't do all of that on top of each other and then expect a pass and then think they can come out with a new foundation that's still probably very mediocre and just have it like blow over. Heated. Getting heated. Yeah, I will not be purchasing this. I still have not purchased from Tarte since I decided to no longer support them, and I still don't. Um, I think this is way past too little too late, and you know what? I don't care. I don't care about their brand. I don't care about their products until they can actually, like, keep a hold of their PR teams if they have one and actually own up to their mistakes. Spoiler. Jesus Christ, um, so, uh, Estee Lauder is coming out with a lip balm for $32. Can I have you guys, uh, like, promise to just beat me up if I ever spend $32 on a lip balm? Please? Please. 
Fenty is coming out with new shades of the Lip Stunna faster than I can keep up with them. I'm currently wearing one on my lips right now. I love the formula, but Jesus Christ, I feel like we went forever with just one color and now it's like a color a week, a color a week. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining, I just wish- excuse you. I just wish that I could keep up. <laughs> so we've had a beautiful hot pink, we have a beautiful coral, <laughs> I want that coral, and a deep purple. See, I don't know if I'll wear the purple though, like I can see myself wearing the pink and the coral, but the purple- could you stop beeping please? I'm trying to film. I could see myself wearing the two but not the purple, so I feel like if anything I'll get definitely the coral, I want the coral. The pink would probably look amazing on me because I look great in pink. So those two, I'll probably add them to my lips on a collection. Uh, but the purple I'm on the fence about. I don't know. Also, they're coming out with two new highlighters. So there is a pink one and a blue one. I don't think I'm gonna go for either of them because neither of them are gonna look great on my skin tone. Though they make the blue one look so pretty. I just can't. I have so many highlighters. Guys. 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 Wet n Wild is coming out with a whole collection called Rebel Rose. Okay, so I know it's probably not solely based on my favorite shade of their lipstick, but you know what? A girl can dream. And even if not, this is like my aesthetic. They're coming out with makeup brushes that look like black roses. And they're coming out with these deep eyeshadow quads. And they're coming out with new lipstick colors. And I want this whole box. I want it. <laughs> I want it. I don't know what that dark blush, I don't know what that blush is. Yeah, oh, it's a cream blush. Don't know if I would go for a cream blush, but they have a rose toner. They have a primer serum. They have some multi-use sprays. They got the lipsticks. They've got the eyeshadow quads. This whole thing is just calling to me. Except for the cream blush. I don't know if I would use that. But I want I want it. I want it. They 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 got me hook, line, and sinker. Benefit is coming out with new versions of like their big cheek palettes that I've heard nothing but rave reviews about. But I've used the Benefit Hoola bronzer and it looks like straight up orange Cheeto dust on me. Not sure how, not sure why, but I've tried it and I look orange. I tried the Hoola light and it was actually like only a shade or two darker than like me. <laughs> it looks it looks a lot darker than it actually is. Like it's light. So I couldn't use it. Like I could probably use it as an all over face powder like in the early summer. Um, but they're coming out with two new shades. They're coming out with Hula Caramel and Hula Toasted. So I'm thinking maybe I could actually use the Hula Caramel and not look like uh, a Cheeto. Right? So I really want to try that out. I don't know if I would get one of these big palettes that they're coming out with, but I saw they're coming out with mini versions of these palettes. Yeah, so this picture is from Hot Fire Makeup because it wasn't on Trend Mood, but I see Benefit is launching two of the mini. So there's a bronzer palette and then there's the cheek palette. I really want to see- oh, I think it's just the regular Hoola bronzer in that palette. Dang it. But I would be really interested in like their little mini cheek palette. Um, let me see what's in the cheek palette. Uh, Golden Pink Powder and Tickle, California, and Dandelion. Oh, $40 though. It's a lot for a mini palette. I'll have to rethink that. But either way, out of all of this, what I'm getting is that I'm actually really interested in trying out some of their new shades of that bronzer because Hoola hmm, and Hoola Light. Hmm. God, I like readjusted myself right here and knocked my mic over and it stopped working for two seconds and I like panicked. So Jeffree Star Blood Sugar is restocking the day after Valentine's Day. I still think it's an amazing palette. I love everything about it. So if you're interested and you want to pick it up, set a timer. This thing has sold out like six times already, I think. It's nuts. It's, I mean, it's a great palette. So I would jump on it if you were interested and you've been waiting for it to come back. Ooh, so NARS is coming out with this uh, weird glowy palette thingy. So I'm assuming it's a cheek palette. I like how orangey some of the shades look, which is funny. I love like an orangey tinted blush, but an orangey tinted bronzer makes me look like garbage. Right? 
This palette looks cute, but I have got face palettes that I like more and aren't as expensive, so probably not gonna pick it up, but I do think it looks interesting. But again, I would want to see this in person before I even, like, thought about it. This one over my head, I had no idea Betsy Johnson was coming out with a makeup line. What the hell? I mean, that palette looks kind of meh. The lashes look okay, but I have never heard about this. Did you guys even know this was coming out? Oh, so Too Faced is now gonna come out with skincare? Huh. We'll see how that turns out. I'm interested. Well, we gotta see what the price points are and what they come out with and, you know, yada yada. That's an interesting move for Too Faced. Okay, so my battery is about to die, so we're gonna leave it at that for tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, let me know what you thought down below, and I'm gonna do a self-plug. If you missed my <laughs> trip vlog I posted on Monday all about my trip to Harry Potter World, I'll link that up in the cards if you want to catch it. It's a different kind of video. If you're kind of, you want to shake things up, take a look at what I did on my vacation. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.